We're going to start off with quarterback Perry Orth. So questions, please raise your hands. David. Perry of Florida's got a pretty good pass rush. Uh, how do you guys think you can handle that, and what will you do to try to limit that? Um, very similar to what we've been doing the past two weeks. Both Tennessee and Texas A&M have very good pass rushes and, uh, you know, different zone read schemes, um, screens, uh, you know, different things to keep them off balance, running backs, chipping them out of the backfield just to kind of slow them down. But, yeah, they got a very, very good defense. Brian. How much does it put a pep in y'all's step knowing the, these next three games are finally at home? Uh, yeah, it's very nice to finally come back home, play here, uh, you know, and you make a good play on offense and, you know, defense to hear the crowd cheer you instead of, you know, it be quiet. It's kind of strange, but, you know, it'll be nice. I love playing here. We got, you know, the best fans in college football, in my opinion, and, uh, you know, it'll be fun to, you know, play Florida here. To the left. Uh, what have you seen from, from Connor Mitch just kind of coming back, and what kind of a personality is he right now in the quarterback room? Uh, Connor's been awesome. You know, he prepares just like, you know, he was playing before. Um, you know, he's been there on the sideline cheering me on, and, you know, when, if his number's called, he'll be ready to go. But, yeah, he's been good. To the left, Josh. Perry, how much attention have you paid to the situation at Missouri, and what are your thoughts on that? Um, I, I don't have any idea. I, I just know that the players were striking that because the president didn't do something. I honestly have no idea. What was your initial reaction to hear about a college football players striking? Uh, yeah, I guess they were passionate about what was going on. Um, so, you know, if they felt that that was needed, then, yeah, I guess they made the right decision. I really just have no idea on the, what's happening. David. Perry, whether, whether it's you, whether it's Lorenzo, whether it's Connor, when you're a quarterback and you've started for a little bit and then you're not starting anymore, y'all have all been through it. How tough is it to maintain a positive outlook and, and not get a little bitter over the fact that you're not starting anymore once you've already reached that level? Yeah, I wouldn't say bitter. It's just, you know, it is tough because you want to be out there helping your team win. But, um, you know, it just comes with you just got to understand where you're at just to, to help the team, whatever your role may be. Um, whether it's backing up or starting or, you know, giving pointers on the sideline, different things. It's just you, you just got to understand that whatever helps the team is, is what you got to is what you got to do. To the left, Pete. Perry, I, I realize coming close only goes so far. But I mean, is there a different vibe among the offense and, and on the team now than maybe a month ago, six weeks ago, when maybe uh, the offense was struggling a little bit more than it is now? Definitely, there's a, a more positive vibe, you know, throughout the entire team. I mean, we've played two very close ball games on the road against two very good teams, and um, you know, for a while there, both games we, you know, we had a chance to win. Um, but yeah, the confidence of the team is is pretty high right now, and you know, we're expecting to go out and play Saturday and you know, get a victory. David. Perry Sean said he was going to open up the offense, and he's done that the past couple of weeks, but. What percentage of the, the full offensive playbook do you guys think that you've run these past two weeks? Uh, yeah, we've run pretty much all of it. Um, different, you know, we put in a, a few different things as well, but I've been here for, you know, through this is my third season. I know what, you know, what plays we still got running the same plays that we did when Coach Spurrier was here with a little bit dif different wrinkles here and there. But, um, yeah, I'm comfortable with everything that, that we've run, and, um, you know, I think that's helped us. As you know, I've gained more experience by playing in different, you know, environments like that. Um, you know, it's been helpful for our offense to, you know, not try to hold anything back. In the back, Dwayne. Perry, the little, the quarterback huddle that you guys do before the game looks like you may be camping out or something like that. What exactly is going on there? What's the history of that? Uh, just something that we started doing, I think, two years ago. Um, Dylan came up with it, just like a little ritual that the quarterbacks do. You know, we're opening the top off the football and sprinkling the seeds, getting ready for a big game. That's pretty much it. Just something funny we do. Any other questions for Perry? Thank you, Perry. Thanks, Perry. Sir. <laughs>